Take some water and a little bit of the white glue and paint it into the bottom of the mould. Then I take some toilet tissue and very, very gently lay it down. Then I fold the paper over and pat that down. I do five layers of the toilet tissue and then switch over to some kitchen towel. Two layers of that. I leave the paper in the moulds for about 10 minutes and then very carefully you can peel back this while it is obviously still very wet. I leave them to dry. This is how they look when they're dry. Just taking a pair of regular scissors, very easy to cut out. Using some scrunched up white tissue paper, I applied some glue to the surface of the pot and then laid the tissue paper on all around the whole pot. When the tissue paper was dry, I gave it a coat of black paint. I'm just placing my moulds where I want to stick them. I'm using my hot glue gun and then holding it in place. Now everything's stuck in place, I'm going over all the moulds with the same black paint that I used before. And the final step is to highlight the mould and I'm using two colors of gilding wax. And here is my finished pot. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Today's project is going to require some clothespins and a small bucket. The clothespins are easy to take apart. All we have to do is use some hot glue. Just put the groove against it and that gives you the perfect lining that you need. We're going to do that all the way around. Now on the bottom, grab some rope from Dollar Tree, put a little bit of hot glue and we're going to go all the way around the edge. Just keep going all the way around. Now it comes time for stain. Next, we need a wood or plastic hanger. I took a square, put it against the inside edge and marked 90 degrees. Also gonna cut off the hanger part itself. I use a little jigsaw and just cut straight across. Turn your bucket over and then we're gonna hot glue our legs on. On the back hood, one of those last bits of rope that I have on there and I'm gonna tie a knot on it. And there it is, our wonderful new potting plant. I am going to take this plain terracotta pot and I'm going to come in with a stencil. I'm going to come in with this dry dex spackling putty. I'm just going to smooth it out across my stencil. Then I'm going to remove the stencil. So I just take a end of a paintbrush and I just kind of fix that up a little bit. Then I have this other nice stencil that I'm just going to do along the top. I'm going to remove that while it's still wet and then I'm going to let this dry overnight. I did also come in and do a little bit of spackling on the back side. Then I'm going to come in with this silk paint. So I'm going to take this patio outdoor paint and I'm going to actually add in just a little bit of ground coffee so I'm just going to dry brush it over the raised areas of the pot. The black is very stark so I am going to tone it down just a bit and this is my finished pot here and I am so happy with how this project turned out. Today's project I ran over to my local Home Depot and grabbed some planters right off the shelf and also grabbed some primer and some textured finish. So we're going to put some glue here right around the edges. We're going to bind this pot right here on top of this base. So we're going to put some weight on this. So clean it all up. For the second part of this, we're going to take this waterproof container right here, flip it over. We're going to use the second part of our pot. Let's give this about 30 minutes and then we'll combine the two. Just let that set up. And I want to put on a good coat of primer first. And then we're going to get to our textured paint. Look at how good that looks right at your front door. 